are um, just a quick video to demonstrate a particularly annoying bug um, that's been driving me mad all day in OpenShot. Uh, OpenShot, I presume anyone, anyone watching knows, is an open source uh, video editing platform. It's pretty basic. It's good for basic tasks, which is all I'm doing today. Um, but it's one of the best known ones on Ubuntu Linux. I've seen people talk about workarounds for this bugs on Windows. Um, not on Ubuntu so I'm just going to quickly demonstrate what you need to do firstly um, this is a bug we're talking about from if I just call up the github page here um, there's been some it's been closed again and this has happened about three times um, this is on someone using Windows so it's not quite the same um, open chat is not an info loop if you actually provide the location of the missing file it will rec rec reconnect not only all instances of that file um, in Linux, at least, this is not true because I've tried to create even a replicas MP4. Rename a different MP4, and it just does. It gets stuck in the loop. But let's just let me just create the loop firstly. So let's open up OpenBox. Um, I just nested a video and a PNG file in a folder called Two on the desktop. So let's just uh, let's just do the PN PNG to. Uh, or let's do both. Just drop these into a project, right? PNG video just put them back to back little uh, fade in over here now let's save a project um, on the desktop and let's call this test project now this the project is uh, relying upon these two files to be here in two so let's just throw things off a bit by creating a folder called three and let's nest these guys into that folder called three so now when we open up open shot let's open up the project we just created on the desktop and it won't like it it'll say there's a missing file right test video mp4 cannot be found now this is a demo account on my desktop it's not my account and i'm not getting the infinite loop bug on my desktop i've been in this bug at least three times today i don't know what the difference is all i will say is on the real open shot um, I've been editing a lot of videos all day and maybe it's something maybe that makes a technical difference so this is what it looks like it'll say as you can expect this file is not found the next button will ask where is that file and I, I ran into the problem in which I had deleted the original files um, my workflow is I'm taking a original video editing it uh, creating a PNG transition start and start and end exporting that uploading that to YouTube and as soon as I export the post-production clip um, I'm deleting the raw file so it doesn't find it and you say you just click away and you go to this and it says I can't find it and it goes to this and it says I can't find it and so on and so forth this is a, this is what the loop looks like um, you will get stuck in this loop when you're stuck in the loop so much so that um, you can't even when you open a fresh instance of open shot you're not able to get past this cycle of we just did a project we're looking for the file the file doesn't exist as I said you can create a video an mp4 with the same file and it just will not match so what you need to do firstly is you can do this in task manager I'm just going to um, I'm gonna do this on the command line um, so firstly kill open shot and it's open shot QT uh, I'm on my demo account so I need to give it the pseudo password um, so that's fine now here's what you need to do next so basically um, if you do you know oops, if you do like this um, I haven't tried to purge if you do a simple uh, auto remove on OpenShot QT and reinstall you will still be in the loop so you that will not work what you need to do instead is navigate to your um, the root of your user folder now that's all you need to do it's here it's um, it's not in you know a lot of times I find stuff in doc config you've got a lot of stuff here for uh, some program store their settings are you can see it's a bit hard to make out with the uh, let me just uh, put the background white and the foreground black you can see Google Chrome stores some files here LibreOffice has some stuff here so I often assume system files are going to be nested under config uh, in this case uh, it's actually in root so you need to do ls minus a to show up the hidden files and this is your man OpenShot QT 
uh, dot openshot underscore qt that's the folder where openshot is storing its goodies um, cd dot ah I had a slash there for no reason so go into it um, I'm not sure exactly what needs to be kept what needs to be deleted um, so what I have done basically is simply um, done a wildcard just getting everything and getting all the subfolders as well do like that just quickly verify that you have uh, gobbled up everything except for the lock file that's fine and then when you go back into open shot all will be well um, you'll get this it'll it'll think that it's the first time that the application's been launched um, I've had to do go through this process three times today on my actual you know active open shot uh, clearly it's not good but uh, I use OpenShot approximately one once every perhaps three months, so it's not really the end of the world. Um, that's how it works basically. And just to recap quickly, you go to the uh, user home folder. Um, if you're using file file manager, I'm in LXDE here. Control H will call up all the uh, hidden directories you can't usually see, um, and just nuke everything within OpenShot Qt, or do that on the command line. Um, and by the time you reboot you will be able to uh, access the program as usual and work on your videos. Hope this has been some use um, and I hope the, bu the bug gets uh, resolved once and for all.